Stardew has a lot of festivals and events taking place throughout the year. If you're a player that wants all the information you need, rather than just casually playing through the game, look no further than the Festivals and Events Guide to Stardew Valley. Up first, we have the Egg Festival, occurring on the 13th of every spring. It takes place in Pelican Town around the hours of 9am to 2pm. There is a booth that sells a decorative lawn flamingo, a plush bunny, seasonal plants, and most importantly, strawberry seeds. One of the best spring crops and is essential to making a good profit in your first spring season. The main attraction is the annual egg hunt, where you and a couple of the townspeople have 50 real life seconds to get as many eggs as possible. You must collect a minimum of nine eggs or else the winner will always be Abigail. If you do win, you'll receive a straw hat, bringing that swag to the valley. The flower dance takes place on the 24th of every spring by entering Cindersap Forest. In this event, you are able to purchase a dandelion, daffodil, tub of flowers, seasonal decorations, seasonal plants, and a rare crow. Player is able to dance with one of the bachelors or bachelorettes, provided you have four hearts of friendship with them. If you are successful, you are able to increase your friendship by one heart with the person you are dancing with. Moving on to summer, where we have the Luau Festival, which takes place on the 11th of every summer on the beach. The main feature is the soup, where the villagers of Pelican Town put one ingredient into the soup with the aim of impressing the governor. Depending on what you put in will depend if your friendship with everyone will increase or decrease. If you really want to impress, you should put in a gold or iridium quality ingredient, such as super cucumber, truffles, star fruit, a sturgeon, purple mushrooms. There are a lot of things you can put in, so I'll link the best items you can put in in the description. The other event in summer is the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Like the Luau Festival, it takes place on the beach, but during the hours of 10pm to 12am, where jellyfish move towards the lit up torch that Maya Lewis lights. The Stardew Fair takes place on the 16th of every fall. There are a lot of attractions that you can take part in where you can win star tokens, a unique currency to the Stardew Fair. One of the big attractions is the Grange display, where you need to put up 9 items for Mayor Lewis to judge. Once again, I will put a list of things you can include in the description. Some of the other attractions include a slingshot minigame, fishing minigame, and a strength minigame. But in my opinion, you should focus on the spinning wheel and always pick green, as it has a 75% chance to land on green. So just put half of your star tokens for every spin and you are guaranteed to maximise your star tokens. Now you might be asking, what do I do with all these star tokens? Well you can hop over to the booth and buy yourself dried sunflowers, a fedora, a light green rug, and most importantly, one of the rare crows and a star drop. Next up is Spirit Eve taking place on the 27th of every fall. The main feature is the maze, where once you get to the end, you'll receive a golden pumpkin, which is a universally loved gift item, and you can also turn it into a witch hat once you gain access to the sewing machine at Emily's house. Pierre also sells a jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern recipe, and another rare crow. Moving on to the icy winter, we first have the Festival of Ice, taking place on day eight of winter in Cindersap Forest, which has some igloos and ice sculptures. The main feature is the ice fishing contest against Pam, Willie, and Elliot. Essentially, you need to get five catches to win. The player earns two tackles, one magnet bait, and a sailor cap if they win. The second event is the night market. This is the only event that takes place on multiple days, from day 15 to day 17, and all the shops are still open as time continues to pass. The festival has a mermaid show, and a deep sea fishing submarine where the player can catch exclusive fish such as the midnight squid, spookfish, and a blobfish, one of the most profitable fishes in the game. There are a wide variety of shops, including a desert trader that will give you a cup of coffee every festival night, a decoration boat that sells, well, decorations, including the candy canes which are exclusive to this very boat. Most importantly, we have the famous painter Lumpini, who sells one different painting each day, the paintings rotate over 3 years, so if you want to have all 9 paintings by the end of year 3, make sure to save up some money. One painting costs 1200 gold, but you know one thing that doesn't cost any gold? Hitting the subscribe button and hitting that notification bell to stay updated on all future uploads. Finally, we have the Feast of the Winter Star, which is basically a secret Santa. It takes place on the 25th of every winter. 
On day 18, you will receive a letter from Lewis, telling you which person you're giving a gift to. Essentially, you want to give the gift that specific person likes. Depends on the person. However, here are some of the most universally loved items. A rabbit's foot, golden pumpkin, pearl, and magic rock candy. There's also the prismatic shard, but don't, don't give them the prismatic shard. During my playthrough, I got Clint as my secret Santa, so I gave him a diamond. It turns out Leah is the one that gave me a gift. If you want to know what it is, I'll have a video on the winter season, coming soon. So those are all of the festivals and events taking place in Stardew Valley. So go out there, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.